Let me, uh, what was the, I was talking about West Side Story. So anyway, the actors are new. I, I was, wasn't familiar with them. I thought they all did an excellent job. And look, the story is fantastic. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a modernized Romeo and Juliet. Um, it, it's, it's between a gang of, I, I guess, whites, you would call them, uh, uh, of uh, New York uh, white kids during the 1950s while New York is tearing down the slums to build the Rockefeller, not to build Rockefeller Center, to build, uh, oh God, uh, where the opera house is and where the uh, New York Philharmonic plays and the ballet is. Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue anyway. Somebody will tell me in a minute in the chat. They're knocking the whole neighborhood down and it's about a white gang, the Jets, and a Puerto Rican gang, the Sharks. It was actually really, really fun to watch the movie in Puerto Rico and to see the response, kind of the audience, the Puerto Rican audience to it all. Uh, so it's, it's about hatred uh, based on ethnic characteristics, hatred for the sake of hatred, the consequences of hatred. It's about the consequences of bigotry. Lincoln Center, thank you, Linda. God, I can't believe I missed that. No, Carnegie is somewhere else. Lincoln Center was the building of Lincoln Center. And the whole kind of complex on the Upper West Side, which is, uh, you know, today one of the most uh, expensive places in New York to live. So it's this conflict between these two gangs so it deals with this uh, animosity, ethnic animosity between them. It deals with the consequence of that. It deals with what happens when a white guy falls in love with, an, with this Puerto Rican girl and how that completely bends everybody out of shape uh, with horrifically, horrifically um, uh, tragic consequences, the whole thing. Unfortunately, I think Spielberg makes... Uh, uh, you know, two kind of uh, concessions to the woke crowd, one of which didn't really upset me, but one of which uh, didn't bother me at all, but one of which did, and, and I thought was a was an artistic, aesthetic mistake. The first one was uh, the inclusion of what seems like a, a transgender character. In the original movie, the character was a tomboy, which I think is much better thematically and in many respects. Uh, it just didn't make any sense in this context in the, uh, you know, with these gangs and given the culture of the time and given everything else, it just, you know, just didn't make any sense. But the second one, but that, okay, didn't make sense. I can live with that. But the second one was that they are the scenes where the Puerto Ricans talk among each other in Spanish, not a lot of scenes, but a few. There is no English subtitles. So you don't know what's going on. I mean, you can tell from the story. You can tell from the context. And they quickly say, let's switch to English. We're in America. We should speak English. Um, but uh, so it's just a stupid concession that makes no sense. Subtitles needed to be there, the English subtitles. It's important for us to know what's being said, know what's going on, so we can follow. Every, all the English was subtitles into Spanish here in Puerto Rico. But with that exception, I think it was absolutely terrific. You know, and, and it's probably the only movie I'm going to see in the theaters. I have no interest in seeing Matrix 4. I have no interest in seeing another another uh, what do you call it spider-man movie god how many spider-man movies can you make uh, but this was terrific and let me just say it's worth just going for the music the music is i forgot how good the west side story music is the songs are amazing there's so much fun and 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 uh the, the, they're so lyrical and 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 just enjoyable and uh there's a song about how wonderful it is to be in america where the girls all want to stay in america and the guys want to go back to puerto rico 
Uh, there's the song about how beautiful she is. It's well staged. It's well directed. The choreography is fantastic for the dance numbers. Uh, as I said, the cinematography. Uh, Janusk Kaminski. I'm not sure what other movies he's made, but Janusz Kaminski, excellent choreog excellent cinematography. But again, the choreography is is amazing. Spielberg's direction is good. The actors are fantastic, even though. Um, the actors are uh, mostly first timers or, or, or young unknowns, but ch just the dancing and the singing, wow! And then the drama—it's very powerful. It's very powerful, very sad, and very powerful. So highly recommend it. Um, you know, go knowing it's a, it's a, it's a tragedy. So it will be depressed at the end, but. The potential, the human potential that you'll see, the 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 you know the the beauty, and just the the artistry of it all, is definitely is definitely worth going to see it for. The music, fantastic. See somebody coordinate music, dance, singing, and a story, all together in such a beautiful way. Yeah, and again, I think. Both the music and the direction, superb, superb. So I highly enjoyed, uh, highly enjoyed um, West Side Story. West Side Story. Let's. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content. And of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.